One of the main reasons why Port had started college only for the poor, managed by the poor, organized by the poor, owned by the poor, was to show, demonstrate that the knowledge, skills, and wisdom that very poor people still have need to be recognized, respected, applied on a large scale, and brought into mainstream thinking, into mainstream development strategy. And the only way we could do that was to start a college which recognized, which showed, which symbolized bare feet. When we think about schools and colleges in the United States, we think of places separated from the larger community, places where students go to learn. Like government schools and colleges in India, much of what is taught often seems to have little relationship to the problems students face in their day-to-day -day lives. In contrast, at Barefoot College, located in the Indian state of Rajasthan, education takes place off campus, in nearby impoverished villages, with a unique interdisciplinary curriculum intimately encompassing rural village life and all age groups. What can we learn from Barefoot College's unique outlook and experience, not only in terms of addressing world poverty, but how education might be organized and curriculum focused in the United States? If I didn't go to the night school, I wouldn't have learned to write my name. All those who go to night school, raise your hand. <laughs> What do you see here? You have to separate the wheat and take out the seeds. We believe that more than 60% of India's children don't go to school in the morning because they have to look after domestic chores, they have to look after fetching water, wood, and the ones who are penalized the most are the girls. So we felt way back in 1975 that we should start a school in the evening for the convenience of the children rather than for the convenience of the teacher. What kind of grain do you see? We felt that the curriculum that was being followed by the government schools was alien, was not relevant to the needs and concerns of the village. What do you do with the oats? We also felt that the night school should be owned by the village and we would only use the resources and skills that are prevalent in the village itself. So we chose someone from the village, trained them to be a barefoot teacher who came from the village, lived in the village, and everyone knew him in the village. And we felt that together with the children, the parents, the teacher, and the barefoot college, we would devise a curriculum which would be relevant for the needs and concerns of the children. Today's lesson is about the fertilizer and pesticides that they buy from outside and what problems they cause. We are also talking about natural fertilizers and what are the benefits. The lesson also teaches them about the summer and winter crops called Rabi and Kharif. When growing the oats, did you mix anything with it? Why did you mix the fertilizer? We try to relate the lessons to their practical life and try to teach them the benefits and harmful effects. Whatever work they do in the daytime, we teach them a better way of performing their tasks, talk about the price each crop is being sold at, which crop is selling for less and which for more.